about who should be Speaker of the House are now coming to a head. And a South Carolina representative found himself at the center of all the controversy. Well, our chief political correspondent, Emma Withrow, joining us here inside of the studio to explain this whole entire situation. Emma? So, Alicia, most Republicans assumed House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy would take on that role, but that might not be the case anymore. A group of five Republicans, including South Carolina Congressman Ralph Norman, are saying they don't think McCarthy's right for the job and it shouldn't just get handed to him. Now, let's get into the details of all of this. So, this is the first time in four years that Republicans have been in control of the House. Whoever they choose as Speaker is going to have a lot of control over how the House operates and which pieces of legislation get through. Congressman Ralph Norman and others have expressed concern over McCarthy's ability to stand up to the Biden administration and Democrats. Norman doesn't think McCarthy's put up the fight over the last few years and isn't accommodating basic requests from him and his colleagues. Take a listen to what he had to say. Look at what's happened since the last 22 months. Take, name me one thing that this administration has done, and we've got to be a loud voice against it. Kevin McCarthy has just not been that loud voice. It's been misinterpreted as you're questioning something you shouldn't question. Why? The vote is January 3rd. Why not question it? Kevin's got to show us. He's got to, I would put it back on him. He's got to present his, form, his platform to us. How is he going to make the country solvent? Kevin McCarthy needs 218 votes to become speaker, and with five Republicans already saying they won't vote for him, he might need to take another route. That route could potentially consist of negotiating with Democrats to get him enough votes. The vote for the House Speaker is happening on January 3rd, and Norman said whoever ends up getting the position, he'll accept and support them. I reached out to other local Republicans, including Congressman Dan Bishop, to get their take on this, but didn't hear back. Back to you, Alicia.